What's up guys? Back with another Godless Top 10. Today we're going to be counting down the top 10 anti-religion moments from TV. Now, here's the criteria. Any television show that either criticizes religion or portrays it in a negative light, either being serious or jokingly. Let's get started. Number 10, Good Times. One wouldn't expect a show like Good Times to discuss atheism, especially during this time period. But the episode A Stormy Relationship does just that. Michael begins working for a repairman who just happens to be an atheist. And his mother, Florida, becomes shocked that some of his atheism has rubbed off on her young son. Just what is it about the Pledge of Allegiance that upsets you and your guts? Probably the part about liberty and justice for all. No, it's that mumbo jumbo about one nation on the God. What? Yeah, Carl says there is no God, and I'm not gonna say there is. What did you say? I s oh, Michael, don't say anything. Uh, to have a chance to hide, maybe I get out of the lightning striking place there. Though controversial for its time, I like the episode because it shows a young person challenging not only the deeply held religious beliefs of his family, but the rest of the viewing American audience as well. Four eight is one believer zero. You want to take another shot at it, Mrs. Evans? Now give me some proof that God exists. You, you're here. Of course I'm here, it's my shop. I mean, he created you. In all these years, I've been sending a tie to my dad on Father's Day. <laughs> Atheists too, believe us zero. <laughs> Look, lady, up to, sweetheart. Fixing your Bible. I, um, what? Number nine, Firefly. In this Joss Whedon created sci-fi series, Dario Book walks in on River fixing the Bible. What that means is she's basically going through the Bible and trying to fix all the parts that are scientifically inaccurate or just plain impossible, which is most of it. Pretty much what every atheist on this website does all the time. Bible's broken. Contradictions, false logistics, doesn't make sense. No, no, you, you, you can't, can't. So we'll integrate non-progressional evolution theory with God's creation of Eden. Eleven inherent metaphoric parallels already there. Eleven. Important number, prime number. One goes into the house of eleven, eleven times, but always comes out one. Noah's Ark is a problem. Really? We'll have to call it early quantum state phenomenon. Only way to fit 5,000 species of mammal on the same boat. Give me that. Maybe you don't fix the Bible. It's broken. It doesn't make sense. Number eight, The West Wing. This Aaron Sorkin drama follows the fictional presidency of Josiah Bartlett, played by Martin Sheen. In the season two episode, The Midterms, Bartlett sees Jenna Jacobs, a Christian whose homophobia derives from her belief in the Bible. Kind of like most homophobes. I like your show. I like how you call homosexuality an abomination. I don't say homosexuality is an abomination, Mr. President. The Bible does. Yes, it does. Leviticus. 1822. Chapter and verse. So what does President Bartlett do? He gives that bitch a lesson in the Bible. That's what he does. She's a Georgetown sophomore, speaks fluent Italian, always cleared the table when it was her turn. What would a good price for her be? While thinking about that, can I ask another? My chief of staff, Leo McGarry, insists on working on the Sabbath. Exodus 35.2 clearly says he should be put to death. Am I morally obligated to kill him myself, or is it okay to call the police? Does the whole town really have to be together to stone my brother John for planting different crops side by side? Can I burn my mother in a small family gathering for wearing garments made from two different threads? Think about those questions, would you? Number seven, The Simpsons. In this season 17 episode, the Flanders family have their beliefs rocked when they tour a museum of the evolution of man. Evolution? Da. 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 Excuse me, how can you put up an exhibit on the origin of man and not have one mention of the Bible? Oh, we do. This prompts Flanders and Reverend Lovejoy to demand that the schools teach creationism instead of evolution. 
the town has spoken. From now on, we're only teaching one theory, creationism. Now please hand in your evolution books to groundskeeper Willie while I beat this ominous drum. Lisa refuses to be taught to junk science and decides to secretly teach evolution to students on her own, which leads to her being arrested as teaching evolution is now against the law. An episode which draws parallels to the Scopes Monkey Trial, which was referenced in my movies that criticize religion list. Variety of our older cultivated plants and animals. Lisa Simpson, you're under arrest for the teaching of non biblical science. Number 6, 30 Rock. In the season 4 episode Secret Santa, Kenneth wants the TGS writers to again be a part of his annual Christmas gift exchange. Fed up with the crappy Christmas routine, Frank, Lutz, and Toofer make up a religion on the spot in an attempt to get out of it. I don't believe in Christmas because I'm a Verdukian. Yes, we are all very strict Verdukians. Oh, my apologies. I've never heard of that religion. What do y'all believe in? Oh, many things. Uh, the healing power of root beer. That a man can have up to nine wives if two of them are male. And we always leave work to go to the movies on Merlin Peen. So good Merlin Peen to you, Kenneth. Good Merlin Peen. Later in the episode, Tracy Jordan reveals that Verdukianism is just a made up religion, just like the rest of them. Must have free sausage pizza, followed by some gentle flossing performed by a blonde virgin. Your generosity is being taken advantage of. What do you mean? For Dukeanism. It's fake. Those dudes made it up because they didn't want to do Secret Santa. But they had all these rules and rituals. That's what religion is, k -Fed. Just a bunch of made-up rules to manipulate people. Why don't Catholics eat meat on Fridays? I'll tell you why. Because the Pope owns Long John Silvers. Wait a minute. Are you saying that other religions are made up by man, too? Uh oh Ken. We may have fallen into the intellectual deep in here. And if you try to grab one of me, we'll both drown. What if there's no God? OK, time to go. Number five, Orange is the New Black. In the season one episode, Fool Me Once, we learn that Pensatucky murdered an abortion doctor after he disrespected her. While speaking to her pro bono conservative anti-abortion lawyer, he convinces her to convert Piper instead of kicking her ass. Though things seem like they're going to be fine between the two, Piper draws the line when Pensatucky reveals that she plans to baptize her. And, um, yeah, you might just want to take off your shirt. Okay, nope. See, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I really want us to get along. I do, but I can't pretend to believe in something I don't. And I don't. Chapman, we've all had our doubts. No, see, this isn't doubts. I believe in science. I believe in evolution. I believe in Nate Silver and Neil deGrasse Tyson and Christopher Hitchens, although I do admit he could be kind of an asshole. I cannot get behind some supreme being who weighs in on the Tony Awards while a million people get whacked with machetes. I don't believe a billion Indians are going to hell. I don't think we get cancer to learn life lessons. And I don't believe that people die young because God needs another angel. I think it's just bullshit. And on some level, I think we all know that. I mean, don't you? The angel thing does seem kind of desperate. I thought you was a Christian. I am, but I got some questions. Number four, True Detective. The first season of this critically acclaimed drama follows Detective Martin Hart and Rustin Cole as they try to solve a series of ritualistic style cult murders over the course of 17 years. In episode three, they're led to a tent church with Sunday service in full effect. What do you think the average IQ of this group is, huh? Can you see Texas up there on your high horse? What do you know about these people? Just observation and deduction. I see a propensity for obesity, poverty, a yen for fairy tales. Folks putting what few bucks they do have in the little wicker baskets being passed around. I think it's safe to say that nobody here is going to be splitting the atom, Marty. While waiting to question the pastor, Russ gives us an accurate profile of the typical Deep South Christian. I mean, can you imagine if people didn't believe well, things they get up to? Exact same thing they do now. Just out in the open. Bull shit. It could be a fucking freak show of murder and debauchery, and you know it. If the only thing keeping a person decent is the expectation of divine reward, then, brother, that person is a piece of shit. And I'd like to get as many of them out in the open as possible. Number three, Family Guy. 
years without AA, just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? Family Guy is a show that proudly wears its anti-religion agenda on its sleeve. What would you expect from a show created by an atheist? Family Guy continues to be a very popular show despite the fact that most of its subject matter could possibly offend a majority of the country. We now return to Carl Sagan's Cosmos, edited for Rednecks. I'm Carl Sagan. Just how old is our planet? Scientists believe it's four hundreds and hundreds of years old. Scientists have determined that the universe was created by a God. Big Bang. If you look at the bones of a Jesus, Nosaurus Rex, it's clear by the use of carbon dating that Mountain Dew is the best soda ever made. With various scenes from the show lampooning religious people and their religious beliefs, as well as America's closed mindedness towards atheists. Among us. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Uh, shocking to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god. Even if it's a smelly brown god. Number two, House. Dr. Gregory House is probably the most unabashed atheist in the history of television. It doesn't hurt when the incredibly talented Hugh Laurie portraying the character is also an atheist. While making this list, I was about to download certain episodes of the show where House mentions religion. As it turns out, another YouTuber already saved me the trouble. Augustine believes in things that aren't real. I thought that was a job requirement for you people. You really think the guy who created heaven and earth cares what you put in your digestive tract? Rational arguments don't usually work on religious people. Otherwise, there would be no religious people. Because you can tell me that you put your faith in God to get you through the day. But when it comes time to cross the road, I know you look both ways. You're an atheist. Only on Christmas and Easter. The rest of the time, it doesn't really matter. And that's why religious belief annoys you. Because if the universe operates by abstract rules, you can learn them and you can protect yourself. If a supreme being exists, he can squash you anytime he wants. He knows where I am. Are you comparing me to God? I mean, that's great, but just so you know, I've never made a tree. Caveman who heard a rustle in the bushes, checked out to see what it was, lived longer than the guy who assumed it was just a breeze. The problem is, we don't find a logical answer if we settle for a stupid thing. Faith is not a disease. No, of course not. On the other hand, it is communicable and it kills a lot of people. It's now time to reveal the number one show. Can you guess what it is? I bet some of you watching already know what it is. Well, I was just standing here, and Tom Cruise locked himself in the closet. Number one, South Park. The show that has at one point or another offended everyone. Series creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone are equal opportunity offenders. Taking on controversial subjects like Scientology, Islam. Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, you don't actually believe this crap, do you? Dummy! Brainwashed alien souls? E-meters and thetan levels? Those people out there buy that crap, but I thought you were smart enough to see what was really going on! A cartoon. A cartoon is about to air on American television with... with the Muslim prophet Muhammad as a character. So? So! Stanley, Muhammad is sacred to the Muslim people. Ever since those cartoons in Denmark, the rules have changed. Nobody shows an image of Muhammad anymore! Which cartoon is it? What cartoon would be so insensitive as to have Muhammad as a character? Who do you think? And yes, not even atheists are safe. Mr. Dawkins! Re replaced Richard Dawkins is a world-renowned evolutionary scientist. Charmed to meet you, Ms... Shut up, faggot! No matter who it's offending, South Park remains irreverent towards any and everyone. And will also go down as one of the best television shows in history. Down the stones and golden plates Dum 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 Even though nobody else ever saw them Dum 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 Well that's it folks Another godless top 10 In the record books Did you like what I chose? Keep in mind These are just my opinions Okay? So don't go crazy If I missed the show Let me know in the comments I might make a part 2 See you next time Then Jesus 
Which religion should our family be? 601, they're all complete crap. Thank you.